get into some uh, some music here, eh? Why don't why don't we? So today we're going to listen to Martin Greck, I believe is how you pronounce his name. We're going to listen to this track, Open Heart Zoo. Uh, I don't really have a lot of information on it. It's taken from his debut 2002 album, uh, of which I do believe I have a link to the band camp here. Now, I couldn't find the music on Spotify, so we're going to watch a YouTube video uh, with the music here. So hopefully everything is, is correct in what I'm about to do. There was a live performance as well, but I figured, you know, let me stick with this. Uh, as this was specifically recommendation from Robert Grace. So Robert, thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank you for sharing your favorite song with us. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll talk about it a little bit after. Let me pull you guys up here really quick. And here we go. His voice is so high, but the music, and especially that bass, was so, so very low. Almost in this kind of noir kind of scenario. a lot that's built.
I think that that was pretty good. I I liked that a lot. Um, sensational voice, really, really fantastic singing. His he's singing in that very, very high falsetto range, and through that, he sounds incredibly pained. He adds a lot of drama, like a lot of drama, into this track, which is just it's made to be filled with that kind of vocal drama delivery. Like it just works very, very well here. Um, the music itself. Sounds like the, like, if you ever listen to, like, a post-hardcore album or, like, a metalcore album, like, this sounds like it's the ballad track before it kicks right back into the next track and it's, like, heavy straight to the guns. Like, it, it sounds like that track. It sounds like something, like, the vocals, it, it, they reminded me a little bit of um, Radiohead. Is it York? Tom York? That's their lead vocalist there. With the way that they sing in that, you know, falsetto sound, but they kind of, wail it so it adds like i said that big sense of drama and to me vulnerability in a track like this that pain that strong emotion but the the music behind it behind it is very like it sounds very noir to me it sounds kind of carnival-esque like a fair that's closing down at the end of the night and you know while the kids and the parents are leaving at the end of the night I don't know, there's some haunted ghouls and goblins that take over the night at the carnival. It has that kind of dark, playful, haunting sound, uh, which I really love the ending as well. When it, I want to assume it's guitar, maybe it's such a, a big distorted synth that's brought in, but that's a nice way to have that very effective climax. And then, of course, it ends uh, pretty much where it began. But yeah, that's a good track. I, I, like I said, I don't know who Martin is, but I would just, uh, I would assume... That the next song on this album, I, I don't even know which album, let's see, Open Heart Zoo is his debut. I would assume that the next song like, probably goes very heavy based off of how this one was. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's one way to find out, huh? I could pull up the next song just to see how it continues on. The track after that is Dolly. I'm not going to play it like the whole thing. Let's just kind of, let's just, hold on, give me a second. I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. Hold on. All right, so you got that same haunted kind of sound. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Let me know what you guys <laughs> thought of the track in the comments down below. Follow me over on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for the recommendation, Robert. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing your song with me. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys. Sound like Nine, nine Inch Nails in there.